Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy and I own the Water Filter eStore and the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to install an Aquamaster High Efficiency Water Softener. Now you may want to check the first video in this series that talks about where to install a water softener before proceeding. So once you've done that, the first step is to turn off your water supply, then you're going to want to release the pressure. So you're going to open up a faucet uh, until it slows down to a trickle to release all the pressure. Now you've already decided where you're going to install it, so you're going to want to cut the pipe. Now you can work with either, either copper or PEX plumbing. Um, either one will work fine. You can use the Quest fittings that come with the, the Aquamaster High Efficiency Water Softener for the connection. Just be careful that you put them in the correct sequence on the pipe. Also use some sandpaper to clean up the pipe. Um, if you're going to be plumbing the rest of the water softener with PEX, you just um, put a PEX fitting at the other end and convert over. You always have to start off with copper though. So once you have those in the correct sequence, then you slide it in and you push it all the way in and then you can tighten it. Now these fittings are made to be hand tight only. Hand tight plus one quarter turn with a wrench. Also you need to make sure that you don't use any Teflon tape or plumber's putty on the threads. Very important. Now at this point you want to check flow direction. That the water flows in and flows out that way. Okay, very important. Um, the overflow is connected down here and uh, uh, you just thread the fitting into the hole that's at the back and then you can use uh, some of the drain line that's supplied with the water softener to connect to that. Now that's only for emergency situation. If for some reason the water uh, softener were to overflow and the uh, safety um, float didn't shut it off, then you might get some water discharged through here, but it's very, very rare. So the actual drain connection is through here, and this Aquamaster water softener only uh, drains about 14 gallons of water when it goes through its cycle, but you need to make sure wherever you're connecting the drain will be able to handle that. So you can use the fitting that's supplied if you're going to use the drain line that comes with the water soft softener. Uh, you can thread that in, into there, or if you want to use half inch PEX, um, you can also use that too. You'd have to get a fitting like this, which is three quarter inch male going to uh, half inch PEX, and uh, that threads right in there. And uh, just be sure that you use clamps on either end of the drain connection. Now the drain connection can go to a laundry tub, can go to a sump hole, um, there's other uh, connection um, possibilities too. I have another video in this series that goes into that into more depth. The drain line can be elevated up to 8 feet. If the drain line needs to be longer than 25 feet for whatever reason, you'd have to go to 3 eight, sorry, three quarter inch size. You're going to also want to check out our other videos that talk about the drain connection, programming, and about uh, putting the Aquamaster high efficiency water softener into service to complete the installation. And that's it. If you like what you saw today, please click the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified of all the new videos they become available on our channel. You can also check out uh, all the other videos that are on our YouTube channel. Or if you'd like some more information, you can go to our website at thewaterfilteresestore.com and thewaterstoremidland.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.